it's time we talk about the most important component of the entire hobby. Water. When was the last time you looked at a water quality report for your area? Water is the most precious element on Earth, yet we rarely treat it with respect it deserves. Think about what might be lying inside of your pipes. You could have the best water possible in your city, but if your pipes are corroding and breaking down, you are still getting that sediment runoff and you are still experiencing all those contaminants. I'm getting started with the BRS four-stage RO only system, which retails for about $161. I brought it home and I'm gonna hook it up to my kitchen sink right here. RO stands for reverse osmosis. And why is it so beneficial to your aquarium? Because you can control it. Think of it as a blank slate that you can freely manipulate, unrestricted by your local water quality. This product has four stages of filtration. Let's take a look at what we got here. A filter wrench, so you may remove the canisters. A diverter valve. A faucet diverter adaptation kit an easy angle stop adapter, a garden hose or utility sink adapter, an inline ball valve, drain saddle clamps. I also grabbed a adjustable float valve. Basically, it shuts off your valves as soon as it senses the water height. So right away, you're gonna see three colored cables, blue, red, and black. Blue represents where the clean water comes out, red is the unfiltered water coming out of your tap, and black is the waste that is being separated from the initial water input. To install this on my kitchen sink, I'm going to use the faucet diverter valve and the adaption kit as necessary. Since I've never been up close and personal with my kitchen sink, this was a learning experience. To start, I had to remove the mesh filter from my faucet and then install the diverter valve. While it didn't take a couple of tries, it really wasn't that difficult, but I did lose a bit of confidence along the way. So big shout out to Matthew for saving my sanity. So now we got our waste output. Highly, highly recommend that you get an RO tube cutter. It's one of the secrets to working with RO tubing and it makes it easy. Gives it a perfect cut every time. Boom, I'm gonna stick this flat line down in my drain. This is gonna be the waste that's gonna come out. It'll slowly drain everything out. I don't even have to look at it ever again. The purified water, called the permeant, flows out of the purification system and into a water storage tank of your choosing. This is your blue line. To get it going, I'm gonna place my red wire in this faucet adapter. Then I push the red RO tubing securely over the barbed output, and I screwed everything back into place. All right, let's give it a go and turn on the cold water. And wow, now that the hard part's over, this is so easy. RO water is something I never truly thought about, even with years of experience in the hobby. In fact, it is so common in saltwater fish keeping that I don't even think many people stop to think about how strange it is that so few freshwater hobbyists even know what RO or RODI is. When it comes to fish keeping, tap water is always the worst possible option. While you could dechlorinate with a product like Seachem Prime, you can't remove everything else. So unless you want to take regular trips to your grocery store for distilled water or your local fish store for clean, fish safe water, this is the way to go. RO water is completely free from chemicals, toxic to fish, it's neutral in pH, and it contains no water hardness. RO water is an incredible starting point for any aquarium owner seeking to create ideal water conditions for their fish or their coral. Also, keep in mind if you buy one of these systems, they're upgradable. You can start from any point and you can add so much to it. For example, here at the office, we have a little system installed in the break room. We used an add-on faucet kit, which we sell for about $90 here. And look, we have RO water ready to go all day long, every day. Let me know your experiences with RO water and how life-changing it has been for you or hasn't. 